Hey what's up guys, it's Rendimento here, and I wanted to be doing a quick little guide video today for you guys on actually the best strength XP on a 10 HP peer and the best strength XP on an Obimaler. Granted, you have 99 strength already required to get into the Warriors Guild, so if you want to get some extra strength XP just to maybe make your account look nice, I don't know. Maybe you want to get 60k strength XP on an Obimaler, who knows after your 99 strength. But this is definitely good for 10 HP accounts that have the 130 combined requirement required to enter the Warriors Guild um, with attack and strength. Which, obviously, the lowest with that would be probably 65 attack, 65 strength combined. Um, and that would obviously take a while to get a l by itself, but once you get those, this is actually almost as fast as, as a method anywhere else, as a normal account, but without the HP XP and you might just have to spend a little bit of money extra on this one so um so i'm gonna get go ahead and get right to this basically a lot of people are saying oh what is this the shot put method in fact no it's not the shot put method is what people have been using on 10 hp accounts though for about the last 10 years and i really don't know why it's pretty ironic considering they can get double the xp in the room right over and no one even figured this out I've known this for about a year and I was kind of wary about releasing this guide as I do know a lot of stuff that um, you know probably an average player wouldn't actually look into just because I'm so bored sometimes that I'll actually just decide to go ahead and look into something or try something new and weird in RuneScape even though it is kind of limiting at some time at times so um, basically you want to you're going to want to have a lot of energy potions for this method, that's why I said it will be quite costly. I did calculate it before, I'm not sure if this is correct, but it will take on average about 30 mil, I believe, to get 99 strength from like 1, if you're using energy potions the whole time. And why are you going to want to use energy potions over anything else, because obviously they're probably the cheapest alternative, but not only that, but because whenever you pick up one of these barrels, yes you only need one, it doesn't matter if you have more on your head. Um, it will d reduce your run energy by 10% every time you get a strength XP drop. And what you're going to want to have happen is every time instantly whenever you drop down to 90% run energy, you're going to want to have energy potion back up to the 100% because in fact when you're at 100% run energy, it is literally impossible for you to drop the keg off your head. And the lower your run energy, the more likely it is that you will in fact drop the keg off the top of your head. So. Um, that being said, the most efficient way to do this is to, as soon as you hit 90% run energy after your first strength XP drop, you're going to want to sip an energy potion to put you 10% back up to 100, and then you're going to want to sit at 100 until it happens again, repeat, repeat, repeat. So it is a little bit um, con click consuming. It's not terrible, you click maybe like once every 10 seconds for the XP drop, 5 to 10 seconds actually, but you are getting a whopping 113 to 114 strength XP drop that quickly. Um, by just standing there and sipping an energy potion. So by far it is better than the shot put method where you can fail many times, it is slower to pick up the rocks and throw them. You use more run energy, more energy potions, and it's overall, you know, like I said, twice the XP. And in my opinion, a lot easier. So you may be wondering why, why have 10 HP peers been using the shot put room right next door this whole time? Um, I don't know. I guess... I don't know. But anyways, if you do want an alternative, if you want to make a really nice prod account or a rusher, just don't rush me please, um, then this is a great room to do it in. 60k strength XP an hour with no HP XP. That's insane. So um, I just wanted to release this guide to you guys because once again, I, I thank you all for the support on my recent videos with fire capes and whatnot. Um, and if you would like to see more guides, quick little guides like this that actually do help you and our little known maybe you know facts or methods or blah 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 for something I will go ahead and try and release some more even though I really kind of want to keep some secrets to myself especially fire cave secrets and more you know ludicrous methods on that but um you know maybe someday probably not but maybe someday I'll release some of that so anyways just want to say thanks again guys and hope you have fun with the new method